The Australian ambassador to the Lao PDR, John Williams, hosts a reception to celebrate the Australia's National Day, which falls on 26 January. According to him, an increasingly integrated regional and global economy will bring new opportunities for the Lao PDR. How one so in his welcoming remark, the Australian ambassador to the Lao PDR, John Williams, said, Australians celebrate the achievements and values of our young country on 26 January each year, the date of the arrival in Sydney, now Australia's largest city of the first fleet of European convict settlers back in 1788. He said Australia is a country with a rich ancient culture dating back 60,000 years. Yet today is one of the world's strongest economies with a highly educated workforce and extensive services sector. We're really delighted to be marking uh, Australia's National Day here again in the Lao PDR. Uh, primarily this is a celebration of Australia and our, country, our young country's values and achievements over the last 200 plus years. Uh, Today, to, to help us celebrate, we've got a special exhibition, we've got an art exhibition. We've done a competition and commissioned art from around about 30 young artists from a local art school to, to recreate their perceptions of Australia and Lao Australia relations. And we've the, the, the quality of the work is very, very strong. And I have to say, um, I'm really delighted in the way that the artists have reflected what Australia means and Australia and Laos means. Uh, we're, Australia's a very lucky country. We're a very young, robust democracy, a multicultural country with migrants from all over the world. And we're very well located as a country that's very strongly integrated in a dynamic region, Southeast Asia and East Asia more broadly. So we have fantastic relations and very important relations with the Lao PDR and all the countries of the Asia-Pacific region because it's a, it's a region that's moving very quickly, that's growing very fast and really becoming increasingly the centre of economic and strategic significance across the globe. So for Australia, we're in a very, very healthy position, uh, mainly through all the, the work and the time we've invested in, a, in relationships like this one with the Lao PDR, which like us is a young country, but also with a very promising future. So today I think is a celebration of all those things. According to the ambassador, 2016 also presents the Lao PDR with the opportunity once again, chair ASEAN. We are confident the Lao PDR will preside over another successful year for ASEAN as you begin to turn the concept of ASEAN community into a reality. Australia has been delighted to have helped support the Lao government's preparations for its year as ASEAN chair through a number of programs. 2017 also promises to be a milestone year in Australia-Lao relations when we will celebrate the 65th anniversary of bilateral relations. Laos, Lao PDR in Australia are also partners in the region, in ASEAN, in, in, in Asia-Pacific affairs. And Lao PDR, of course, this year is chairing ASEAN again, which is a really great opportunity for the Lao PDR to put its stamp on the regional agenda, on the ASEAN community as it takes shape. So Australia is very proud to be a partner with the Lao PDR in that and supporting you as ASEAN's longest serving uh, first dialogue partner. The ambassador said adding that he is delighted to be celebrating his third Australia Day as our ambassador to the Lao PDR. He said he had welcomed the opportunity over the past two years to see more of this diverse and incredible scenic country. He promises that for the remainder of his term here in Vientiane, he will continue to strive to strengthen Australia's ties with the Lao PDR across many fields as friends and partners in an increasingly dynamic region.